Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you guys how to do those mask transitions that you just saw. Uh, I'm going to use flow frame clips for this tutorial because I think a lot of you guys are doing the same and I'll show you what we need to do to be able to use those. But if you're not using flow frame clips, it doesn't matter. You can do the same thing, but you, um, you can skip the first step because you won't need to do that. But anyways, so the first thing we need to do is pre-compose the clip that we want to mask. So control shift C. Pose, and then we're going to go control alt t time remap and then we're just going to line it up with your audio control shift d to cut and delete the rest of the clip then we're just going to go one frame in from the beginning control shift d and we're going to drag this frame about eight frames over the top of the previous clip okay so about here now for this first mask we're just going to do a freeze frame mask so we're going to right click on the frame Go to time, freeze frame, and then just drag it over the rest of the clip. Okay, then you have to adjust this again, hit U, and then just extend it so it covers the rest of the clip to where you need it to sync to. Okay, hit U to close that, and then we're going to go to our clip that we want to mask. Um, now, what we have to do because we're using a flow frame clip is we have to double click on the clip go to composition, composition settings, and change the frame rate from 191 or whatever your flow frame is to the frame rate we are using. So 29.97 or 60, whatever you're using in your composition, it has to match the same frame rate. Then we're gonna put our um, pre preview render into full quality. And we're gonna come up here and click on the Roto Brush tool and then double click on the clip. And now we're just going to draw over just a rough trace of what you want to mask. And then you'll see it just sort of guesses what you want to do. Now for the roto brush, if you hold alt and drag, it will go red to cut. And then if you just normal click and drag, it will go green and it will trace over. So you just want to get rid of a couple of these parts that you don't need to show. And then we can just close that, come back to the clip, and there you can see it's already masked. So now to make it moving, we're going to open a null layer. So you go layer, new, null object, or control, alt, shift, y. I'm going to cut the null, just so it's over the top of our mask. And then we're going to parent the clip to the null. So come over to the parent pick clip click and drag it onto the null. I'm going to hit P for position, right click on position, separate dimensions and click on the keyframes. And then we're going to go to the end of the clip and just press the keyframes again. Okay, so for this one, we're going to make the clip start out of the frame from up here. And it's going to, so then we're going to see that it's going to fall down and transition to the next clip. So wherever you, want the clip to come from you're just going to drag it so from here you're just going to click and you drag it you can hold shift to keep it straight if you're just going in a straight line up and down and then place it just off the screen okay and then you see it move down like this then we're going to highlight our position keyframes hit f9 for easy ease and now we're going to make it a little bit fast the whole time now a lot of the time i see people do this part they make it way too far so you can see that it comes in and then it stops here and then it looks it looks like it's already come to a stop before it transitions so you don't want that i'm just gonna go about here so it's it's still moving and then it's falling into the transition so that's our first mask which is just using a freeze frame Okay, so for the second transition, we're going to do a mask that keeps a little bit of movement in the clip. So we can put your quality back to quarter. And the same thing to start, we're going to pre-compose the flow frame clip. Control shift C. Now this time we're going to take about five frames in off the clip. Control shift D. And we're just going to move that over the top of the other clip. And then drag this one over. Now we're going to hit control alt T. And we have to keyframe with the time remap at the start of this clip before we drag this one out to match it with the audio again. Otherwise it will move the, the whole clip. 
then we can just delete the rest. Okay, close that with you. And now for, for our mask clip, we're gonna do the same thing as before. We need to double click on the clip, go to composition, composition settings, and change the frame rate to match yours, whatever you're using. Okay, now this time we're going to, so put the quality back into full, and then make sure your ruler is in about the middle of the clip that we're gonna roto brush. So because there's movement, you need to roto brush roughly the middle frame and it'll do the rest for you. So we'll go to the middle, put it in full, click on roto brush and then double click on the clip. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention, if you press H here, you can get the hand tool and it just makes it a little bit easier to move around to trace your clip. Click back on the roto brush tool and then again, just the rough, trace of what you want to mask okay now once you're done we can just go back to the selection tool close this and now you see the mask has come up here so we'll go back to quarter and then you see it has a little bit of movement as it comes in and then into the next clip um so you see it here now what i like to do just so it doesn't look a little bit funny that it sort of appears out of nowhere is I will go T to open opacity, keyframe the start, we're gonna make that zero, and then we'll go to the end of the clip and we'll make it a hundred. So you just see it sort of fades in a little bit as it goes. And then you can keyframe and graph the opacity as well. You just make it a fast graph. So it just looks a bit smoother as it appears there. Okay, so for the last transition, I'm gonna show you guys how to mask two different layers and have them moving in whatever direction you want. You can have them meeting in the middle like I did here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the same thing to start, Control Shift C, pre-compose the flow frame clip, Control Alt T, line it up with your audio, and then we'll just cut the rest, Control Shift D. Now we're gonna do another freeze frame, so we just need the first frame from the clip, then make sure you line that back up. Okay, now with with my mask, I usually just eye off the middle of the previous clip and just go from there. So right click, time, so wrong one, right click, time, freeze frame, and then just drag it over the rest of the clip. Now again, we're gonna double click on the clip, composition settings, change the 191 to match your frame rate. Close that. And then we have to, so before you use Roto Brush, this time we're gonna duplicate the layer. So Control D on the keyboard. And then we can Roto Brush one at a time. So come up here, click on Roto Brush, change that back to full, double click on the first one, and then mask whichever, whatever you need to do first. So again, just a rough trace is all you need. And then you can hit Alt if you need to cut out any again, okay, whatever. Then once you've done that, click on the, the second layer, double click on it, and now do whatever else you're masking. Awesome, and then once you've done that, come back to the clip, you'll see it's finished. Um, so yeah, once you see it here, you can go back and fix it up if you need to. But for the sake of the tutorial, we keep going. So what we're gonna do now is we need to make a null layer for each of the clips. So null object, Control Shift D, cut that, cut off the ends, and then we have to parent the bottom clip so, to the null. An and the same thing, Still we'll go layer, new, null object, delete the rest. and then we'll parent the second clip to the null. Now what we're gonna do is we'll start with the first one. We're gonna hit P for position, right click, separate dimensions, keyframe. You hit O on the keyboard to jump to the end. Hit the keyframes again. And now we're going to, so highlight the start two keyframes and just drag it wherever you want it to come from. So for this one, I'm gonna have it sort of diagonally off the screen, coming into the middle, the keyframes at the end. And then we'll do the same thing here. Hit P, separate dimensions, keyframe, hit O, keyframe, highlight the two start, and then we'll just drag it off the screen. So just when it leaves the frame there. Okay, now you see that they're already 
move to the middle there. Okay, but again, we're going to highlight all the keyframes. Hit F9, start from the top. You just want to make it a little bit fast the whole way, but again, just not too much that it already comes to a stop before the clip actually moves into the next part. Keyframe this part. All right, now once you've done that, that should be good. You just you just have to mess around with the graph to make sure it's what you want it to look like. Um, and then the start of the next clip, when you add Twixter to it, just make sure that's fast in, slow out as well, so it all looks nice as it flows in like that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, let me know if you have any feedback or questions. If you want to ask me something, you can join my Discord server. I'll leave it in the description. And just send me a message there, I'll be able to reply to you. And yeah, thank you.